In this article, I will explain about postural reflexes. Postural reflexes have two mixed expressions in various literatures, reflex and response. However, I believe that they are not strictly used interchangeably. In this video, I will use the term reflection. The flow of this article is as follows. First, I will explain what postural reflexes are. After that, I will explain the three main types of postural reflexes. Postural reflexes are used to regulate and maintain body posture and equilibrium in motion. Postural reflexes begin to appear during the development of the cerebral cortex, which controls voluntary movement and thought, and the midbrain, which controls posture maintenance and eye movement. From around three months of age, the primitive reflexes are gradually suppressed, at which time the postural reflexes begin to appear. The performance of the postural and primitive reflexes is reversed around five months of age, when the baby is able to perform voluntary movements such as turning at will. Basically, unlike primitive reflexes, postural reflexes do not disappear once they are acquired. The following are some of the major postural reflexes. The following are some of the major postural reflexes. First of all, let me explain the parachute reflex. The parachute reflex is a reflex that causes the body to extend its hands and arms to support itself when the child is lifted up in a belly down position and suddenly brought close to the floor with the head facing down. The parachute reflex is the foundation for being able to reach out quickly when you fall. It can be seen from around 8 to 9 months of age, so in Japan it is often checked at the 10 month checkup. Next, I will explain the hopping reflex. While the parachute reflex was a postural reflex related to the arms and hands, the hopping reflex is a postural reflex related to the feet. This is a postural reflex in which the body tries to maintain equilibrium by putting out its legs to prevent falling when the body is about to fall backwards or forwards. Even if the child is not currently walking, the hopping reflex may indicate that the child is ready to walk. This reflex may also be checked at the 10-month checkup in Japan. The third reflex, the writing reflex, is a reflex that attempts to return the posture to its normal position when the posture is collapsed. It plays an important role in the stability of turning over and sitting up. The writing reflex can be divided into the optical writing reflex, labyrinthine writing reflex, neck writing reflex, and body writing reflex. The optical writing reflex is a reflex in which the infant's body is tilted to the left or right, but with visual information, the infant's head remains vertical and tries to remain in an upright position. It can be seen from the time the infant is able to sit up, and when the infant sits up and tilts his or her body to the left or right, the infant tries to bring the head back to a vertical position. Next, I will explain the labyrinthine writing reflex. The labyrinthine writing reflex refers to the reflex to tilt the infant's body to the left or right and return the head to the vertical position with information from the vestibular function, similar to the optical writing reflex, even when blindfolded and without visual information. When the neck and trunk are twisted, the trunk rotates in the order of neck, chest, lumbar, pelvis starting from the neck position, and the twisting is eliminated. He body writing reflex is the opposite of the cervical writing reflex in that when the neck and trunk are twisted, the trunk rotates in the order of pelvis, lumbar, chest, and neck, starting from the pelvis. This is a reference for the content of this article. I will be posting regularly about health fields such as children's growth and development and exercise. Please give us a thumbs up, and share it with whoever you think would be beneficial to you.